Good day, everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christchurch Radio. My name is Ayodeji Ebo, an investment professional. This week, the focus is on the Federal Government's National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategy Scheme. The Federal Executive Council recently approved the 68-page National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategy document prepared by the Presidential Economic Advisory Council, PEAC, in March 2021. The main objective of the strategy is to accelerate poverty reduction through economic growth and social protection programs. The economic program assumes steady annual growth of GDP from 2.3% to 4.4% through 2019 to 2024 and 6% per annum from 2025 to 2030. Within this period, the average yearly reduction in poverty is projected at 11.2 million per annum with the expectation that 80% would be in self-employment and 20% in wage-paying jobs. The program planned to achieve this through redistributive and transfer programs targeted at the ultra-poor, vocational studies, MS micro, small, medium enterprise support, and livelihood diversification. Over the 10-year program period 2021 to 2031, the total cost of the implementation of the policies and programs underpinning this strategy is estimated at $1.6 trillion, translating to an annual spend of $161 billion. Due to the federal and state government revenue constraints, the PEAC recommended the setup of the Nigeria Investment and Growth Fund, which would be promoted by the government but funded by local and international private investors. The strategy report is premised on four pillars. One, macroeconomic stabilization policies to boost the capacity of the economy to absorb shocks and avoid disruptive adjustments. The PEAC advised implementing a unified and competitive exchange rate, market-determined interest rate, single-digit inflation, gradual phase-out of subsidies, and keeping public debt at a sustainable level. 2. Industrialization for economic growth and transformation of the economy from commodity-dependent growth path to a diversified, industrialized, knowledge-intensive, and job-creating economy. This will come in four phases, focusing on a radical transformation of Nigeria's economy to bring the size and complexity of the economy in line with the largest 30 economies in the world. 3. Structural policies and institutional reforms to stimulate efficiency in service delivery, promote transparency and accountability in the management of fiscal resources, bridge the infrastructure gap and improve private sector development. 4. Redistributive policies and programs to reduce level of risk, vulnerability, shocks, and deprivation. The latter includes programs aimed at enhancing income, job opportunities, and wealth creation through vocational skills training, microcredit, and microenterprise development, and livelihood diversification in the agriculture sector. In our view, the 10-year growth strategy report is very robust and highlights potential solutions to reduce poverty in Nigeria. While these recommendations are not new to the government, the major concern is the willingness of the government to ensure the effective implementation of the suggestions. In addition, due to the expected change of government in 2023, there is also concern that a new administration may not sustain the implementation of this report as the new government may come up with a new strategy report, which is always the norm. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and interesting session. For comments and feedback, kindly forward to CC Radio at LC cgchristchurch.org or send SMS to 70 Stay blessed.